Can a Narcissist Fall in Love with an Empath? In today's video, we'll be talking about narcissists falling in love with empaths type personalities, and if they do, can empath type personalities become a narcissist type personality? Can a narcissist love someone other than themselves? The truth is, the narcissist is able to soothe themselves and tell themselves things that will help them protect themselves from the potential heartbreak. The narcissist pushes their loving feelings aside because they don't want to feel them and be vulnerable. In actuality, many narcissists do have a hard time letting go of a relationship and moving on because they don't know how to heal their wounds. And when they try to come back and recover the relationship, they don't know how to do that because they still refuse to show feelings and be vulnerable, because that is what hurts them. It hurts them to reveal their vulnerability, because that's how they protect themselves from the potential pain. Plus, vulnerability to them equals being inferior and inadequate, and they don't want anyone to see them that way. The narcissist shows love only at the beginning of a new relationship. Because, then having someone idealizing them and looking up to them, they do not feel so vulnerable. However, when the honeymoon phase is over, when their ideal partner starts showing them they are a real person, with flaws and insecurities, then the narcissist starts losing love and affection for them. On the other hand, the narcissist always wants to protect their image of a perfect man or a woman. Therefore, they avoid deep and intimate conversations with their partner because they don't want to reveal their true self and they don't want their partner to see them as less perfect. The narcissist is someone who is constantly protecting the grandiose image they have of themselves, and that is why they feel enraged when someone doesn't give them the royal treatment. The narcissist believes that those people who make them feel flawed are wrong, not realizing that the feelings of inadequacy they are feeling are because of them, not because of other people. Those bad feelings and beliefs exist in the narcissist, but the narcissist is not aware of them. And so, they tend to find faults in other people to protect themselves and escape from those feelings. So, the narcissist starts feeling victimized by other people's maltreatment, and therefore, they start pushing away people who love them. When a narcissist is hurt or wounded, they feel as the whole world is against them. So, they will either attack the person who hurt them, or completely withdraw to escape the pain. But, what they are failing to realize is the amount of hurt they have caused the other person, and the role they had in the breakup. Again, the narcissist has zero empathy for the feelings of the other person. However, underneath their tough exterior, they cannot cope with their feelings of pain, when they listen to someone. Tell them how bad they are, and what mistakes they have made. Why? Because deep down, the narcissist is extremely self-critical. So, they run away from their feelings because they don't want to feel bad about themselves, and admit they are wrong. This can cause extreme distress to their partner, because they won't know how to deal with a narcissist. Plus, the narcissist can use addictions to give them an ego boost, such as affairs, sexual addictions, gambling, always wanting to present themselves as the best and the wealthiest one, to inflate their ego, even though those things may not be true at all. So, the narcissist will discard an empath who exposes them for who they are. Instead, they will choose an empath who will admire them, and fulfill their wishes because the narcissist wants to feel powerful, and perfect. However, no matter how good the empath makes the narcissist feel, the narcissist cannot fall in love with them, because they run from love. For them, relationships are one-sided. It's all about them, and their needs. It's all about them feeling special, and important. If you are an empath, do yourself a favor and walk away from the narcissist. Save your life before it is too late. So, another question is. Can empaths become narcissists? Empaths are compassionate beings. They are not confrontational. They can undertake a lot of abuse and not say a word. However, when they reach their breaking point, they can change unexpectedly. After dealing with so much abuse thrown at them, the empath can start detesting the narcissist, their tormentor. They will then want to destroy the narcissist's ego, that delusionally makes them feel powerful, and in charge. The empath wants to fight against everything the narcissist is. So, 
In a way, the empath then becomes the narcissist's narcissist. They start mirroring the narcissist, turning cold towards them in order to destroy their ego. Therefore, the reaction of the empath to the bullying, and the disrespectful behavior of the narcissist is, silence. Eternal silence. Which can be seen as abusive as well, because they can get up, and leave without an explanation. However, when it comes to narcissists, these tricksters don't deserve an explanation. They knew what they were doing. They just feel hurt that they are being left out. However, their hurt passes quickly as they find a new victim that they can abuse, and mistreat. On the other hand, the empath who walks away, is the winner in the game of life. And their silence means that they have won, without uttering a word. And they walk away with their head high, because their heart is pure. If you found the video content helpful please like, and subscribe, for more video content like this, and more.